Hey everyone and welcome back. Today's video is a very different video to what I am used to. Today I am going to be vlogging my day. We are in lockdown at the moment. I think we're at the end of week two. I've just been trying to keep myself as busy as I can to be honest because we've gone from like working every day to not having any work and doing nothing. So I've been trying to keep as busy as I can and try to keep like a working day kind of on a schedule so I've got a few things planned that I want to do today so I thought that I would take you along with me. I have just taken Zeus on his walk because we're allowed out once a day for exercise so he's been on his walk this morning and so have I and yeah I'm just going to carry on the rest of my day. Get breakfast first to start my day, I'm going to get ready so I'm going to do my hair and my makeup and then my makeup room needs completely gutting and cleaning so that needs doing today. I might do some baking this afternoon and I also want to do like a bit of a workout as well because I actually can't remember the last time I did a workout. So there's a few things that I'm going to be doing today and you are all welcome to come and join me. I have porridge every day for my breakfast. This is the one that I have. <laughs> Just gonna quickly go over my hair because I did wash it last night but it's gone a little bit fuzzy. I have been finding it a lot easier um, like if I get up and get ready for my day. It's just so surreal at the moment like having like a completely different routine and not being able to go out. I have been making like lists and like goals and things that I want to do every day, like different things that I want to get done. I have tried to sort of plan out my weeks. I have noticed that my roots are just about to start popping through and my hair grows really fast so like after a couple of weeks my roots are showing and I'm just like no. I just wish that my hair wouldn't grow like throughout the whole of lockdown. <laughs> Nails I think have been three weeks this week but to be fair they haven't grown out as much as they usually do so I think they'll last me at least until next week so I'm just trying to hang on to everything like for as long as I can. I'll show you these um, which I use. These are little sheets that I use to like organise my week. So they've got Monday to the weekend on and I'll just write little notes of what I want to do each day and try and plan plan my days out. For my makeup I'm just going to do like a really easy sort of everyday makeup so I'm going to use the L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation and I just empty this usually onto the top of my Laura Mercier powder tub. I use 204 and 205 and then I just put this all over. I have already done my moisturiser what do I use? I've been using The Ordinary, this is the Hyaluronic Acid and then after I use the La Roche-Posay, I picked up the wrong one basically, I usually use the La Roche-Posay Tolerian Ultra Calming or Ultra Soothing Fluid but this one is a different one, this is Tolerian Ultra Cream so it's a little bit thicker and I actually prefer the other one to this um, but this is still really nice. But even though the other one's a bit thinner, I find it works a little bit better for my skin because it's very like over the top sensitive. So the soothing fluid is really nice on my skin. So for my concealer, my everyday concealer is the Makeup Revolution in C5. So I'll just pop a little bit of this under my eyes and just anywhere else that I maybe need a little bit more coverage. But it's not like we're going to really be seeing anybody today. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have been doing anything interesting in quarantine. I feel like I've been quite boring really because all I've been doing is makeup tutorials and like just tidying around. I'm also still with my mum and dad at the moment so I'm also trying not to get in anybody's way. <laughs> That's pretty much all the base that I wear so I'm just going to set it with a little bit of powder. And I use the RCMA no colour powder like for every day so I'll just pop some on my hand. If I'm going to be filming for the day, obviously I don't do my makeup in the morning, <laughs> then I'll just do skincare and then I'll just start videos after. Sometimes I don't even do makeup every day but I find it keeps me in a routine 
like getting up and ready for the day. Moving wise, I know I did start the moving vlogs, but obviously with everything that's going on at the minute, I've not been able to move. So I'm still with my mum and dad and I'm looking after them, making sure they're okay. But as soon as obviously we're not in that town and quarantine anymore, I will be moving because everything's ready to move in. So I'm really excited for that still. I still am going to, while we're off, just start like packing a few things together and getting things organised so as soon as like we're able to be let out <laughs> I've got everything then ready to go so I am still going to be doing a few little moving vlogs and things I did practice the soap brows the other day and I absolutely loved them it was a little bit time consuming so I'll probably stick to the soap brows for like or when I'm actually going to see people <laughs> to make an effort but I did love it. I can't believe I've never even tried it before. Okay, so I think we're all done. We're ready for the day. So let's get some jobs done. There's lots to do. First thing that I think we're going to tackle today is this makeup room. So it needs completely gutting, cleaning and everything sort of putting away because I've obviously had to bring all my kit home because I'm not doing clients at the moment. So it just means more makeup in this room and it's already the smallest room in the world. So... Yeah, I need to try and organise this space and get things a little bit organised. So we will see how we get on with that. Okay, so this is the state of my makeup room at the minute. And that is all of, well, most of my kit down there. And then on here, I don't know how it's sort of spread out on here. So all this needs clearing. All this needs taking off, wiping down and organising. I might just clean off um, some of my brushes as well. But yeah, we need a good tidy in here. This makeup bag is actually my everyday makeup, so they can go back in there. And I like to keep like all my sprays and things that I use every day in this little box. So I'll try and get everything back in there. And then we've always got spare lashes lying around, haven't we? So I keep mine in this little tub. Hair things, I've got a hair drawer. And then I need to start clearing this other side. using for my soap brows it's the pears so but yeah I absolutely love it and then in this spray bottle I've just got some diluted flora so I'm just gonna give it a good once over with this Florid and clean, we can start putting everything back. But this can go in its usual place. Got a bigger one and a smaller one now of that. And that's a new one. So I'll use the smaller one up first. So that's all a little bit tidier now. My brushes can come back. And then I've just got this little cup of like tools and uh, my eyebrow pencil flash curler, just like little tools. And my brushes can go there. My laptop can go here as well. So that's where I like to work. Okay guys, so this side is all completely done. I just need to do this little corner and then also figure out what I'm gonna do with all the makeup that's back here. I'm gonna try and fit it underneath here, I think. Yeah, this feels amazing now. I always feel really unproductive and like really uninspired when it's messy in here but when it's tidy I always feel like I get a lot of ideas for makeup tutorials and stuff when it's all clean and I can work properly on my desk as well 
which is nice. So yeah, let's move on to the other side. my stationery on the side and then I leave these on top and then I can do my week's like rotor thing um, and all of everything that I want to get done on that one so they can just stay on the side. So these and these and these and these are all of my makeup brushes which I use on clients which I have also done another video on, which I'll leave up in the corner, which is all my favourites. Um, so I don't really want these out anywhere, because I don't want them gathering any dust or anything. So I'm going to take these out of these pots, try and fit everything in here, and then find somewhere to put them, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to. <laughs> desk it looks so much better. I've managed to get my full kit underneath there still in its bag so that's all bagged off. It's already clean and everything so that is all tidy. Side I'm gonna have to find somewhere for my brushes that's the only thing I'm gonna do that later um, but yeah everything's all tidy. Everything's all neat. What are you doing sis? Hello. So we've cleaned all the makeup room this afternoon, I'm going to do some baking. I haven't baked for ages and I used to love doing baking. I'm roping my mum in to help me because it's actually her recipe. So we're going to be doing a chocolate cake I think because that is my favourite. I was going to do biscuits but I haven't got all the ingredients for that so I'm going to get out what I think we will need and then hopefully my mum will tell me what we need to do. Okay so I've got out all the ingredients which I think I need. I've got, I will show you, I've got some eggs, some self-raising flour, caster sugar and some baking butter. Oh I need the chocolate powder as well because it's going to be a chocolate cake and I don't know where that is kept. I'm just going to use drinking chocolates. I think that's what my mum uses most of the time. Hopefully this will be a very yummy chocolate cake. So we have cleaned, we've baked and I'm going to do a little bit of a workout today. I haven't done like a proper workout in so long, like it's scary to think. I do go on a walk every morning for like between an hour and two hours but I don't do like any cardio would you call it or like proper exercises really. So tonight I'm going to do a skipping workout because I used to skip all the time and I did a lot of running as well but I just got out of it but now because we're shut indoors all the time I still want to try and be a little bit active and plus when I'm at home all the time I snack so much more. When I'm at work I just have my dinner but when I'm at home like 
there's always a cupboard with a nice treat in, isn't there? So, yeah, I'm going to do a skipping workout. I'm not going to film it because I'm probably going to be terrible. I'm actually really tired, but I'm making myself do this. This is my skipping row. It's like a leather one, and then the handles are weighted, and it is actually quite heavy, so I can't go, like, really fast. <laughs> but, so I'm not going to film it because I'm probably going to do rubbish, but I'm going to make myself do it. Then later on... I know I'm going to be eating that cake I've just made. So, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit. I'm going to try and do a little bit every day. Maybe start every other day and then get to every day. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I will check in with you after. Okay, it's a little bit later on now. I'm just having a little bit of a chill. Hi, Zeus. Hello, Zeus. And I've just had my tea and everything. That skipping workout was really hard. I did it for about 15, 20 minutes. But yeah, I'm just having a sit down for a minute. I don't know whether I'm going to have a piece of cake tonight. I feel like that's completely cheating, but I probably will. Yeah, so all my makeup is off and I'm ready to just chill for the night now, settle down for the night. I'm also going to watch Harry Potter. I have been binge watching these, so I'm on, I think I'm on... I think I'm on the third one now, so that's Prisoner of Azkaban. I've been binge watching those, so I'm going to watch that. And yeah, I'm just going to chill for the night now. I'm ready for tomorrow. I've made my list of things that I want to do tomorrow, but I've left it upstairs, so I can't remember what's on it now, to be honest. I feel nice and relaxed and chilled now. I think that doing a bit of exercise has really helped me sort of switch off now. And I can just sit and relax and watch a film. So yeah, I really hope you liked today's video. Let me know if you did. If you want to see more of like what I do in a day, maybe I'll do like a weekly vlog or something. Thank you very much for watching. I hope everybody stays well and stays safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!